Hey guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, so as per your request, today we shall repot this dendrobium that I recently purchased. If you somehow missed the video in which I presented this orchid, I'll add it down below in the description so you can watch it anytime. Alrighty, so I asked you guys if you would be interested in a repotting because this guy has a little problem. As you can see, the older canes, actually let me zoom you in. So the older canes look okay, look plump, but this new cane which has the flowers is pretty pretty shriveled and it's actually not very stable. So I am suspecting either some rotting issues, case in which things are pretty sad, but also maybe this cane simply separated from the other canes. This orchid has a nice root system as far as I can see, but you know, pure essence can be deceiving, so I guess it will be interesting to see what we find inside the pot, and today we're gonna do just that. We're gonna unpot this androbium, pot it up in inorganic medium, and see what's going on with this cane. So let's make this interesting. Right now, before you continue watching the video, I wanted to place a bet. Just by looking at the plant, what do you think is wrong? Do you think this cane is separated or is mushy? Take into account everything you see. So let me know down below what your prediction is. As a personal prediction, I think the cane is just separated, but I might be wrong because I cannot see inside. It is actually buried in the medium. There's a high chance it's rotten, but let's try to be optimist. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's start the repotting. And now the moment of truth, let's squeeze this pot gently. Oh my gosh, the medium is actually breaking down. I'm gonna pull from the sturdy cane, not the wobbly cane, because you never know. And, uh, that was a fail. What the heck is going on here? Uh, okay, I just missed up my orchid. Okay, okay. I'm still gonna upload this video. I mean, I messed it up, yeah, but gotta own up to it, right? Hmm. Oh. Oh. This, this is something new here. Did I actually break it? I don't think I broke it. Ugh. Okay, I didn't mess it up. Oh, oh the heck is happening here? So this cane was not attached to this one. Um, there's no breaking point, absolutely no breaking point. These are roots. Actually what I snapped was roots. Oh okay, I thought I made the biggest fail ever caught on camera when it comes to orchids. So I honestly don't think I broke it. And judging by the root system you can see there's quite the difference. These ones do not have roots, these ones do have roots. This is a cane that bloomed before and I already see a growth. Look at this poor growth. It grew inside the medium, it was buried. So it's completely white because it doesn't have any chlorophyll. It didn't have any light, but this particular section actually looks good. Hmm, are these two sections or just, what is this? This might be yet another section. I'll be gentle. Oh, we have a new growth here as well. Oh my goodness, this poor orchid. Oh no, this is not even coconut husk actually. This is peat moss. This is absolutely peat moss with sand and with some bark chips, probably at the surface more. This, oh wow, this is the most horrifying thing I've ever discovered in a new orchid. That's why it wasn't coming out because this is pretty heavy. This, look at this. It's peat moss or clay or something. It's one of those mixes i don't even know and i'm sounding very dramatic right now right i've never ever encountered something of the sorts it is peat moss the orchid was split in god knows how many divisions i need to clear this up i need to wash these orchids see what i'm dealing because i did not expect this so you guys who voted for filming this repotting good job you have quite the eye this is turning out quite interesting given sad for me but interesting for you guys alrighty so here is the situation we have three pieces of this orchid this has been definitely severed sometime in the past because there is no open wound right here there is no connection that appears to have been broken also there are no roots which will explain why this cane is just so shriveled also because it bloomed it tended to withdraw a lot of energy from this orchid now on a closer inspection, what I thought was a very plump and nice looking pseudobulb, we can see it does have some ridges. So this guy has been a little bit shriveled as well. Now I'm not entirely sure that I didn't sever it or helped it, but I'm fairly sure that this guy was severed from the other canes as well sometime in the past. 
Because it was not in bloom, the cane didn't shrivel all that much, it didn't have an energy draining source, as these are older flower spikes. I'm not entirely sure about this one. This might have been a flower, a recent flower, but in any case, this was severed as well. It is currently starting a new growth here, but as you can see, root wise, not a lot to talk about. Alrighty, and this section, well, this is the original section. Now, being that I discovered quite a few growths, this is one and then this is one, and no separation point on this side, actually. Maybe, no, this is an older one. But quite a lot of roots, as you can see, they appear to be new roots, so this appears to be a new cane, which also does not look as dehydrated as the other two. Well, what I think happened was that sometime in the past, this orchid got separated or grew separated from other orchids or somebody tried to propagate it and they just plucked in everything in the same pot. I'm not entirely sure about that cane over there. It might have been initially attached to the section, but somehow it dropped. This side is also quite tiny in comparison to the other two, so something of the sorts might have happened in the past. And whoever repotted this orchid chose to pot it in a peat moss medium. Also, I found a lot of sponges here, some bark chips at the top. Um, pretty sloppy job, if you ask me. And I'm not sure what nursery these came from, but it's the very first time when I see something of the sorts. This, I am absolutely convinced it was just plucked there at some point. Maybe it had flowers, maybe it fell somehow and they just plucked it into the pot. That one, not entirely sure what happened. It might have been connected to the other side, but this one, no way. There's a silver lining to this. Because this and this might be of the same plant, this might be a totally different plant. And remember in my initial video, I told you that there is quite the variety. I saw it on eBay in uh, Catacetums 2 listings. Some of these types of dendrobiums had more purple, some of them had more white, there was a bit of variety there. So I might have the surprise that these sides, or at least this side, is completely different than this cane. At least two, if not three different looking plants right here, which is quite amazing. So what will I do? I'm gonna pot everything in the same pot actually. And in time, we'll see how everything develops, see how everything blooms. I'll keep you up to date. If one of the canes decides to die off, I will just pluck it out of the pot. I'm sure that side will do just fine. I'm not entirely sure about these two canes. We'll just have to see. Alrighty, so now let's get to the repotting. Alrighty, so the orchid or orchids have been potted. I had to stabilize them with these bamboo skewers. Usually I don't need to stabilize orchids anymore because the pebbles that I use on top are quite heavy, but these guys are really top heavy. They have very thin pseudobulbs at the base and they don't have roots. So yeah, I need to stabilize them, but hopefully they will produce new roots pretty soon. Another thing that I really wanna do at this moment is cut the flower spikes. There's, oops, stay there. There's really no need for them to stay on the orchid. Yes, they look pretty, but the orchid has had enough. And especially because they are on this cane, which is not looking all that great. So there we go, flowers are off. And we're gonna look forward to next year's blooming. Now looking at the canes, you can see exactly where they were buried inside the medium. Do you see the lighter color at the base? Well, that's where chlorophyll is kind of missing. Also, you can see the new growth is almost completely white. You cannot even see it, it's here. This is one of the new growths and it has another one on this side. The fact that they're white indicates that they didn't receive any light, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is that they could have rotten. I'm surprised they didn't, to be honest. So now I tried to arrange this orchid properly in the sense that the base of the pseudobulbs is on top. You can see it, it looks buried, but it's not actually. Right now it stays on top of the medium. The older section with all of its new growths is on top. Even if some of the canes appear to be higher up, that's much better than to have them buried, trust me. So from now on, I'm expecting the new growth to start gaining some color. Also the base of the pseudobulbs, I'm expecting them to equalize in color with the rest of the pseudobulb and hopefully everything will be okay. So this is quite an exciting orchid. Although as an overall, the orchid was an utter, utter, utter fail. Good thing it was discounted. Imagine if I paid full price for it and I discovered this. This would have been a great what's in my orchid pot, but I think it deserves a video on its own. It was just a nightmare. 
So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchids and plants videos. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye! Speaking about weird things, this is the Dendrobium Helix. I didn't talk much about it because nothing much happened, especially because I was waiting for new roots. They didn't happen. I repotted it recently, no new roots. The canes though, yeah, they're losing leaves, but they don't necessarily look very, 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 very shriveled. And one of them is producing a flower spike. Now, I cut a few flower spikes. This orchid really wants to make a lot of flower spikes, but I'm not letting it. Not in this state. But some of the canes look absolutely brand new. So I'm not sure what's going on. I am hoping for roots now that the weather is warm, but we'll see what's going on. I just decided to leave one more flower spike on it, at least to see it one more time. If this orchid decides she does not want to belong to this world anymore, at least, you know, see a few flowers before she goes. But this is the only flower spike I kept. I um, cut all the others.